All right, guys, I'm going to finish up here with our part two of what lessons we're going to be working through for the next few months up until March of 2022. We talked a little bit about number one, which is boundaries, and we talked about the four echoes. The four echoes is basically what you experience as you're leveling up, you're, you're getting challenged with the universe saying, are you who you say you are? Prove it at least three times in different ways, right? So the second one we're gonna be working through until March to really get you in alignment and balance of more of who you are, right? We're moving into that kind of butterfly season, but you gotta to learn to fly, but then you've gotta practice. So number two, the biggest challenge you're gonna be faced with is your consistency. It's probably a big trigger for you in relationships, right? Not having people be consistent with you, their words not matching their efforts, right? That's like a big trigger for us. Unconsciousness is a trigger. You know, people being kind of selfish is a trigger. But consistency can look like all kinds of things. When you say you're gonna do something, right? Go back to the four agreements if you have to, but keeping your word is major. Now, keeping your word to yourself is the ultimate. It is the ultimate. Because here's the thing, I have something called the soulmate frequencies. How do you, you know, what do you have to vibrate in order to find your soulmate, become your soulmate, attract your soulmate, keep your soulmate, turn your twin flame into a soulmate, right? There's four frequencies that we practice and literally loyalty, consistency, keeping your word is major. And you want someone to do that with you, right? You want someone to be consistent with their intention. You want someone to be consistent with their word that matches their action. You want someone to be consistent with you instead of wishy-washy because that creates so much unsafety and insecurity and instability. Now imagine that your inner child is inside of you watching you not be consistent to saying what you say you're gonna do, right? I'm gonna get to the gym. You know, I'm gonna stop hanging out with that toxic person. I'm gonna like really get rid of that toxic ex. And then, you know, what do we do? What do we do? So we have a moment of weakness, instant gratification like we just talked about. And there's just gonna be no more time for that because the tests, like I said, 2022 is the year of illumination. Everything is gonna come to light, everything. So the things that we used to be kind of like in and out, one foot in, one foot out, you know, love and light, but I'm judging you. Like that's all gonna get major tested this year. And it is really about your consistency to your goals, your dreams, your health, your vitality, right? Your mission, your art, your creativity, your inner child, right? Integrating your ego, working with your higher self, all of those things need consistency. And I know boring word, routine, right? But routine actually gets you more freedom than lack of routine, because when you do not have a routine, your child doesn't feel safe. Therefore, you go to instant gratification and you go to other people who feel like safety. And then codependency, right? Which is our bonus. So we're gonna get triggered majorly with our boundaries, our inconsistency, and our codependency. So codependency means I am dependent on or they are dependent on me. Now we've all been guilty of this. I mean, it's a way for us to trap people, making them codependent on us. And it's a way for other people to trap us and create codependency within us, right? We've all been in that narcissistic empath relationship at least a couple times by now. And you think we'd learn our lesson, but you know, we're just so loving and we live in the moment. So why would we remember the last painful experience? And so we don't. And this time it's going to hurt because everything will be illuminated. Everything, all right? And you want to just practice, practice, practice. Your ability to be dependent on you. Because when you need anything outside of you, right? It's that fear factor, right? I gotta ask, I gotta manipulate my words, I gotta say it at the right time, right? They don't agree with what I wanna spend on, what I wanna do. Haven't you noticed when you start getting really your vitality and health back, the people that you're codependent on don't like it so much because yeah, they get to complain when you're codependent, but when you're, you know, you got your sexy back and you're feeling good and you're starting to put yourself out there, maybe you're not making money yet, what's going on? 
You're going to really be challenged with your codependency until March of this year, all right? Where can you become self-sovereign? Where can you become self-sufficient? Now, again, if you're joining like a partner with raising children, don't forget, ladies, that's a job and that should be treated like a job, which means that's not necessarily a codependency. That's a partnership and you might need to revisit your boundaries there and your consistency in speaking your truth. But otherwise, ladies, guys, you are sovereign. And when you have your own time, when you have your own money, when you have your own space, you know, it's like the best thing to do in a relationship to really keep it solid is to miss each other. You know, be free in other areas. Doesn't mean you're not loyal. It doesn't mean you're not faithful. It doesn't mean you're not monogamous. But it does mean that you keep initially your freedom intact, your financial freedom intact until you become sovereign. And then when you become sovereign, you will find a match or that person will become a match and you'll be sovereign together. It's called a partnership. Very different than a relationship where there's lots of codependency. So these are things you're going to be challenged with. Number one, boundaries. Number two, consistency of what you say you want. Are you acting at if? Acting as if, becoming, practicing, playing it out, you know, developing, working on your craft, challenging yourself. And where are you codependent? That's going to be really like a big pink elephant in the room. Where are you codependent? So think about that. Hopefully this helps. Write it down. Check in with yourself. And just know that this growth opportunity is huge, which means this quantum leap, if you just follow those three aspects of where do I need to check in and shift a little bit here and there, it's going to be worth your time. It's worth your energy. It's worth your money. Okay. And it is going to be amazing. I always say this, when you invest in you, your growth, your mission, your purpose, that's not codependent on someone fixing you or something's going to give you self-love, you're going to get self-love through doing and practicing by spending, the universe rewards you three times over with an investment back, which means that when you're doing things, spending, eating, you know, playing, practicing, studying for your purpose, for your highest good, for your most loving environment, you're always rewarded threefold. Right? 369. This is where we're heading. So March of this year, we've got a couple months of solid testing. So you'll get at least a C minus, right? If not an A plus, because you deserve it and it's your time. See you soon.